Hi guys, it's me again. Um, this video is going to be inbox review of the AT80, AT80 from Bandai Models. Uh, it's in one one forty fourth scale. Um, like the rest of the Bandai models, it looks pretty good already. And we'll go over and look at what's in the kit. Uh, please like and subscribe and ring that bell when you want to see when you want to know when I release new videos. Thanks for watching. So here we have some nice box art for the AT-80. This is a, in one, 144 scale. Although I wish they were all in the same scale. Um, the AT-ST, Y-Wing, and B-Wing are all in 172 scale. And an AT-80 in 172 scale would be really huge. But it would be really cool too. So I'm kind of, you know, it'd be cool, but I probably don't have room for something that big. And I haven't seen that they've released anything like that either. So this 144 scale will have to be good. And since I've had so far no problems with these Bandai kits, except for a problem I made myself. So let's take a look at what's inside. Let's look at the instructions first. Instructions are look the same like in the other kits. That's better, huh? Let's see, what do we got? Here's one, two, three, four, five trees. All are in light gray plastics except for one. One is white, and there's a small part of one of the gray trees that's uh, with the red parts for the laser cannons. I think on this one I will be putting laser cannons on, at least one of them. I didn't do that on the uh, the ships though. Here we have the decals. You have one uh, water water decal and one one time uh, uh, stickers, just like on the rest. On the other uh, two are the same. I'm sure the, the legs are probably the biggest part. They have probably a lot of parts. Looks like you start with the the head and the body. And here's continuing with the body. Mm -hmm. It comes with a base. Looks like snow. Probably gonna have to put some paint on that. The white paint from Ravel should, to flat white should be pretty good for it. And here's the color chart on the back for painting because it's not gonna stay like this, even though you could keep it if you you know that's why these kits are good for kids because it doesn't really require painting it's molded in the color it should be at least the base color it should be even though I think it might be a little too dark but we can lighten it up a little bit with some little paint I see here it comes with two figures these figures shouldn't be I mean there's no skin. It's all uniform. So I'll probably build these two figures. Instructions are good. Let's take a look at parts. You can see they have a lot of attention to a, a lot of attention to detail on these kits. Look here at the interior. Lots of little details, lots of cool stuff to paint. I'm pretty sure the interior is going to be darker than the exterior. The head. Looks good. No pin... No pin marks on the outside. Cannons. Look really well. No flash at all on these parts. 
No pin marks outside. The tree doesn't have a lot of parts in it. We'll look at these. Here's the sides. Bottom, top. The, uh, well, these are these are, kits are good for everybody. A kid can just, without glue, put it together without a problem. Or an adult can do more. Or uh, somebody that's more experienced. They can glue it together, paint it, weather it, whatever. You can do what you want with these kits. They're really built for everybody. Look at the detail here. I wish half the aircraft I had had this much detail. Now, if the details... I don't know really where they get the plans for these uh, Star Wars models, because if you look at the old AMT Ertle in uh, MPC, these really old kits, there's not a lot of detail. On the interior, there's nothing um, in here. I don't know if they just uh, take a look at the pictures and, and, and do it, or if they actually have plans from studio models or what. But, I mean, these parts look excellent. No flash. No pin marks to take care of. The panels here look... The panels look great. The, like I said, the base, and it comes with a couple other small parts that are white here. Next tree. More detail parts. With smaller cannons. A lot of these are parts for the legs. Here's the uh, glass for the front, and it has two laser cannons, but really you only need one because they don't, they fire and, and they each fire separately and not at the same time. So you'd only put one out there unless you put, if you put it like a clear part between, between the cannon and the end, so it looks like they fired at different times. That would work too, maybe. If you want to do something like that. And that's... Looks like a little person. Maybe that's targeting. And the last two trees, more leg parts, you can see. These two trees are exactly the same, that's the D. It's all leg parts. Uh, here's the feet. These are also parts of the feet. Here's the, the legs. Looks like a really great kit. Can't wait to build it, but it's going to be next year before I do build it. And then I can do another. I can do it after a build review of it. Absolutely no, absolutely no flash, and no pin marks outside. They are all seem to be on the inside. Good design. Great, great kit. All these Bandai kits so so far. There's the figure. I was looking for that. They're small, but since they're mostly white and black, shouldn't be a problem with the to toothpicks. I can pick out small details in my new brushes by the time I get started on it. Well, with with two kits I built, and and well, this is the first one I've reviewed that I haven't built. I would say these Bandai kits are very well, very recommended. 
I was thinking about trying to find one of the, fine, the older fine mold kits. So I would like to do a review of that and take a look at how they look as well. But I, I, I would say, you know, it, it doesn't matter if you're 10 or if you're 40 or 50, 60, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how experienced you are with model building. These kits are for everybody. You can build it straight out of the box and it looks decent. Or you can add, um, paint it, add weathering for even more, for even better uh, build. Well, thanks for watching and uh, please like and subscribe. Till next time.